الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما دي سويت إسلامي برادرز لس رسائد رود السلام الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of conveying درود السلام when a believing Muslim conveys 1000 Salutations upon the beloved and blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He will not die until he sees his placement in paradise. The shortest through the park is sallallahu ala Muhammad. Try to make the intention of conveying through the salam by sending salutations. And then after completion of through the park, make a supplication. And this is the practice of the awliya. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the book called to righteousness on page 527, the topic sacred kalima will not benefit. Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the greatest rasul صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم has said لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله will always continue to benefit its reciter and will continue to remove torment from them unless they consider its rights unimportant. Blessed companions radiyallahu ta'ala anhum humbly asked, O Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, what is meant by considering the right of the sacred kalima unimportant? He sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, i.e. considering the right of the sacred kalima unimportant means not preventing the deed which is disobedience to Allah azza wa jal. After having seen it and not changing it. Eight portals or eight parts of Islam. Sayyidina Huzaifa radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that there are eight parts of Islam. One is Islam. Number two, Salah. Number three, Zakah. And number four, Psalm of Ramadan, meaning fasting. And five, Hajj. And six, enjoining, i.e. promoting good. And number seven, preventing evil. And number eight, performing jihad in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the person who has no share in them is not successful. So dear Islamic brothers, the community that does not prevent sinners from sins despite having power is in danger of being punished Even in the world before death. Sayyidina Jareer radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the beloved and blessed Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has stated if any person in any community commits a sin and the people of the community do not prevent him from the sin despite having the power then Allah azza wa jal will make them suffer His punishment before they die. And this is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawood, page 164, volume 4. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, inshaAllah, tomorrow after Zuhur Salah, we will go to Al-Aqai Dora, Brian Neki Ki Dawood. InshaAllah, Azza wa Jal, we will invite Islam brothers towards the masjid And this will be our jihad. Meaning in a struggle by giving invitation towards good 
asking them to come to the masjid to perform this salah. There's many categories of jihad. For example, if a lady is delivering a child, that's her jihad, giving, delivering that child. If a person who's finding it difficult to perform his salah, he's doing jihad in the sense that he's struggling to perform his salah. This is the inner jihad with his nafs as well. So there's many categories of jihad. This is inner struggle. So inshallah tomorrow try to participate for the reza of Allah So you never know that invitation towards good could change that individual and inshallah make him a practicing Muslim. He could abide by the commandments of Allah and when you die in Insha'Allah you will gain benefit in your reward. The reward that he will attain, this will be Sadaqa Jariya for you. So Insha'Allah today, Alhamdulillah, we have a celebration for the youngsters of Madrasatul Madina. Here in Fazani Madina, we are celebrating Eid for the Rizal of Allah uh, Make a supplication that this celebration of Eid here becomes successful for the children and which will make them closer come to the deen and understanding of Eid as well, inshaAllah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidin mursaleen, jazallahu anna muhammadan ma huwa ahlu, bismillahi ala deeni, bismillahi ala nafsi, wa wuldi wa ahli wa mali, ya Allah azza wa jal accept our salat al-zuhur in your court, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, with the blessing of Salat al-Zuhur, forgive our major and minor sins and give us the istiqamat in deen. Make us in punctual in salah. Give us hushu and huzu in our salah. Give us the ability to perform virtuous deeds and give us the ability to invite others towards the deen. Give us the ability to, to stop evil in our society, in our community. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, with our hands, verbally stopping it. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, if we can't stop it, to at least feel guilty and to make a supplication in your court for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah azza wa jal give us peace around the globe, especially our Muslim brothers who are suffering, Ya Allah, even children around the globe, especially Kashmir, Palestine, Bayt al-Maqaddas, Mashhad al-Aqsa. Ya Allah azza wa jal Burma, Iraq, Syria, Yemen. Ya Allah azza wa jal India. And Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, the Muslims in China, Bil Husus Pakistan, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect Pakistan from all directions from the enemies of Islam. Raise the flag of peace, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and destroy the, the, the people who are following the devil. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, who are worshipping the devil, Ya Allah protect us from the devil. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept the duas of the Hazreen Majlis, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, and also those who have requested for sincere supplications for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and for the sake of Karbala, accept this sincere supplication and grant them peace and grant them shifa and grant them a madri mahal in their household. Ya Allah azza wa jal, those children who are ill, grant them shifa for the sake of Karbala. Sallallahu ala nabiyyi al-ummiyi wa alihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Salatan wa salaman alayki ya Rasulullah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.